Now, over the weekend, Prince Harry spoke out saying, I love my family and that sickness can bring people back together. So we're asking this morning, could, should a royal reunion be back on the cards? Joining us to discuss this, host of the To Die For podcast, Kinsey Schofield. Morning, Kinsey. We have talked so many times about whether there could be a, a little bit of a... A thawing. softening, a thawing. a thawing. Maybe this is the maybe the second step to say I've come to visit, and I'm going to publicly say this can bring families together. What could the next step be? Well, I think we might be giving this interview uh, too much credit. I, I think that Harry seemed caught off guard by some of the questions and tried to. to Stay positive, but wrap it all back when it comes to Invictus Games. Um, so I think he was nice about his family and he was positive about his family. That's great. Uh, but I don't think that this is moving us in any specific direction uh, when it comes to reconciliation. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Because the people who support Harry and Meghan will say, oh, look, he's offering, uh, you know, uh, uh, a chance, an opportunity. The cynics will say, hold on a minute. Uh, you've criticised them so much. I mean, I was reading an article over the weekend that the real driving force here is not Prince Ch King Charles, it's actually William, who effectively has told anybody and everybody, I don't trust them, I don't believe that what is said or what goes on will not be repeat repeated. And that's the problem, isn't it, for them? You can't throw as much mud as they've thrown, go off, decide that actually they now want to do it. A apology's simple, but it's actions, isn't it? Not words, Kins? Correct. I mean, there is one huge obstacle in Harry's way, and that's Prince William when it comes to reconciliation or even this conversation about Harry stepping in and helping the king out uh, on a temporary basis. Um, I, I'm, I'm hearing that Prince William will not allow Prince Harry to return in, in any capacity. But a source also told the Daily Mail today that His Majesty King Charles is firmly of the opinion that there is no way back for Prince Harry as a working royal. In any way, shape or form was the quote, despite wanting to repair their relationship. So King Charles open to having his youngest son back in his life, not open to a working relationship with him. What, what do you kind of infer from that, Kinsey? Oh, I mean, I think that they have, they've messed up. And, you know, it's like Jeremy said, actions speak louder than words. And Harry and Meghan have become a liability based on the choices they've made. They don't seem to consider the consequences of their actions. They make very rash decisions and they make very selfish decisions based on what's going to improve their life at the moment. And I think, and I from don't William's think that that's view, the life of service. Kids, I think also from William's point of view, I think we need to understand that he will be the next kin. And I think King and his, I think his influence um, is starting to become more and more apparent. And as I say, there will be people who will say, come on, forgive them, bring them back into the fold. I disagree with you. I think that the problem that Harry has, and people won't like this, is his wife. I think that a lot of this goes back to her, and I think I'm afraid that a lot of this will always go back to her or people will perceive it to go back to her. And I think that's also an issue for the British public. And, I, and don't get me wrong, I could say people can apologise, people can change, but I don't know, timing's not great, is it? They're out of money. Well, I don't want to put it all on Meghan Markle because it's Prince Harry that shows up at the NFL yeah, Honors true. Awards right, right after he meets yeah. with his father that's been diagnosed with cancer. It's Prince Harry that sits down and, and divulges more than he was supposed to or what they agreed upon during the Oprah Winfrey yeah. interview. Prince Harry makes a lot of decisions. This is his family he's hurting. The, the, these are yeah. direct attacks okay. on his family members. So it's I know it's easy but to say... But the similarity, Kinsey, is not lost on anybody. She has nothing to do with her family either right that's a fact we know that no i think you're you're making a good point but i think prince harry is capable of making his own decisions and yeah. he's made some i also think he's in desperate need of some media training and some media guidance because this was not the time or place to to have this discussion and he needs to tell people like good morning america i'm here to talk about invictus games we're not going to touch on my family so uh, let's have a fun chat about what we're here to talk about today. Um, and I think that uh, it would get him out of a lot of trouble. Kinsey, thank you so much. I don't want her to go. I like her. <laughs> we love you, Kins. Thank you. I love you too.